Yo guys, before the video starts, I'm doing a giveaway on my Instagram. If I hit 600 followers, if you aren't following me already, my Instagram is on screen right now, so be sure to follow me. And when I hit 600 followers, everyone who follows me is going to be entered into a giveaway, and I'll release more details once I hit 600 followers. So yeah, follow me. The at my username is on screen right now. So yeah, follow me. What's up guys, it is Tom or Top 10 Wrestling and welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we're going to be talking about WWE Evolution. My last video I talked about Crown Jewel, so let's talk about Evolution now. So, as a lot of you know, a lot of legends are being announced for WWE Evolution. People like Michelle McCool, Ivory and Alondra Blaze have already been announced. But someone that hasn't been announced and probably won't be announced and someone that the WWE Universe probably wants the most out of any female to return is AJ Lee. And let me tell you why she isn't going to return at Evolution and why she is not going to be announced for the pay-per-view. I am very jet set and very, very, what's the word? What's the word? I'm very convinced she's not going to return at Evolution. If I'm wrong, I'll do some sort of forfeit. You can hold me to that. The first reason why AJ Lee will not be appearing at WWE Evolution is a very obvious one and it's because of CM Punk. Now this goes with two reasons. The first reason being that WWE does not want AJ Lee to appear because of her association with CM Punk. Obviously AJ Lee is married to CM Punk, WWE and CM Punk are not on good terms, there was lawsuits involved and WWE even went as far as to have Nikki Bella break AJ Lee's record breaking Divas title reign so that AJ Lee's reign was kind of forgotten about and in the dust and brushed over. And number two is that AJ Lee would probably much prefer to stick by her husband's side rather than the WWE side. You know, she wouldn't have retired in the first place if she didn't want to take her husband's side. She respects that her husband has left and she knows that they are not on good terms with each other, WWE and CM Punk, and she's chosen to side with her husband and stay with him. So I don't see AJ Lee wanting to appear for the sake of her husband's reputation. And the third and final reason, and this one's this one's a bit of a conspiracy theory, I'm going to put my Shane Dawson goggles real quick. Uh, Nikki Bella and Ronda Rousey are having a match for the Raw Women's Championship, and it's probably going to be the main event match, which by the way, it shouldn't. Charlotte vs. Becky should main event. That's my main event. It should main event. But anyway, back to the topic. We all know how AJ Lee feels about Nikki Bella. As she once said, talent is not sexually transmitted. That is a line from AJ herself. And we know that AJ and Nikki Bella in real life had some differences. And AJ Lee did not like that she had worked all this way to become a wrestler. And Nikki Bella kind of got it handed to her after the diva search. Is AJ Lee going to want to appear on a show when Nikki Bella is the main event? When Nikki Bella is most likely going to be higher on the card than she is? Is she really? Is she? Think about that. Thanks for watching, guys. If you, did, if you did enjoy this video, smash that like button. I couldn't speak for a second. I'm feeling hella motivated with YouTube at the moment. More videos to come, hopefully. And my second channel. I've got so much stuff planned for my second channel. I can't wait. Be sure to subscribe to my second channel. We're almost at 2,000 subscribers on my second channel. It's youtube.com forward slash 10TV10. That's T-E-N-T-V-1-0. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you did enjoy, smash that like button. Follow me on Twitter at Top10Wrestling. My Instagram is at I'm Tom Bell. Buy some clothes at noisyclothing.com. Goodbye and keep on rolling.